Hey there, I've got $34 billion a year. Good news for you to share. If you've been waiting for the next best thing after PPP and EIDL, the SBA, this program is as a direct result of PPP and EIDL. The good news is I've done over 77,000 of them. I've been through the portal. I can't believe how it's gotten. I did another video about all the changes. And of course, I had to play with it to see the changes. And the changes are incredible. I don't want you to miss out on all this stuff. You can get up to $500,000 really easy. In the portal, you can have multiple loans. You could manage multiple loans. You can make payments. You can do all kinds of stuff with your loan. View payments, access statements, manage it. It is absolutely incredible. And as you can see here, you can have multiple loans, which is really incredible. So we're going to cover that as well as we've got six different programs, private lending for you, billions of dollars in capital in real estate. If you're looking to buy a fixer upper, if you're looking for bridge capital, we've got you covered. I got some exciting news to talk to you about another fund that we have a hundred million dollars worth right now that we're helping people that are stuck in situations where banks are asking them for more money on their loan because their percentage is off. Maybe you lent at 65% loan to value and now you're at 80 and you've got to come up with 15% to recapitalize the loan. We're doing capital investments up to $100 million to help people with different funds if their interest rates are going to change. So we're going to cover all that. Just as a quick note, want to let you know that this is the website, Capital Velocity, where we do all the lending, where we have the loans, the business loans, the real estate loans. We've kept it real simple. You can click on either business business or real estate here, fix and flip. Or if you want that business, that SBA loan that I'm talking about in this video, we'll take your application here and we will be happy to process it. We have over 160 different lenders and we can find the best one that fits. You. So are you considering taking your business to the next level with an SBA loan? I have some exciting changes to talk about. These changes have recently swept through the world of SBA. We've talked about them. It is unbelievable. And they're opening up new opportunities for establishing enterprises and even fresh startups alike, both of them. And all these articles that have unveiled the transformation and the alterations that have occurred, we're helping to decipher through all of those to help you get your ticket to SBA funding as easy as possible. So picture this, that you're armed with this newfound knowledge that you found in this video on YouTube because you come to the right place if you're looking for money and you need to navigate the dynamic landscape of business finance and you want to be empowered on the latest SBA revisions, these changes are more than just alterations. They're a game changer if you need to inject money into your existing business or you uh, want to start an existing business. They've taken out this complicated process so that you can breathe easier where most people were quitting halfway through the process. Whether you're a thriving business looking to expand or a startup eager to take flight, the SBA realm has never been more accessible, never been as easy. Now might be your perfect time to embark on your SBA journey. My name is Andrew Cartwright. I'm here to help you get money, leverage it and invest it. I've been there, I've been broken homeless to multimillionaire. I know how quickly and easily it can be taken away and you have to rebuild. I've started over 32 companies in 17 industries and right now I'm buying companies with you with Epic 99 where you own 81% and I own 19%. The link to that is in the description. Fill out the form and let's get rock and rolling. If you need a business loan, maybe it's not SBA. I got 12 different programs, 80 lenders to help you get money. Even if your credit's like 300, still got you covered. The SBA doesn't do 300 credit scores. Also, there's free stock down below as well as my real estate flip, ground up and rental. Depending on what you need for real estate, I got you covered. The major evolution that has happened. There have been a lot of changes to the terms and conditions of SBA loans as of the 1st of August, which I've covered in other videos. Basically, the standard for the loans are going to be, com they are completely streamlined now. And a great portion of the lenders, particularly fintech companies, are able to participate, plan the reach to help you get access to funds. When the PPP program was developed in 2020 and 2021, these fintechs were essential in assisting people through the program, like myself. So these new changes are being made with the intention of making it easier for small companies to access Access credit. These are small companies like yours who have historically made it so difficult for you to access funds and painful. 
for lower lo lower amount loans as well. Now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about the implications of the development. Re they've made streamlined and straightforward the borrowing up to a half a million dollars for the SBA. Lending institutions can now adhere to their own established guidelines, which a lot of these companies are a lot looser than banks. As they've stipulated, the SBA regulations are looser. Although the maximum amount to borrow is through remains $5 million, change is essentially a health helpful one for small companies that are searching for loans for less than 500,000 through finance companies like these fintechs. Then obtaining permission in the past from lenders were hard to get lenders to do them for lower amounts. Now they're less stringent requirements for potential business owners. The process of qualifying for funds will become more simpler for entrepreneurs, especially those in the early phases of business who have little or no revenue. I'll say it again, no revenue. This is another important improvement, which is absolutely mind boggling. When deciding whether or not the grant loans up to 500,000, financial institutions will soon be able to place a greater emphasis on the perspective of earning a new and developing company, rather than placing as much emphasis on enterprise track record and their past. To be more about what your future is, right? Not judging you based on your past. Now, concerns and points of criticism on this, there's been some pushback against these changes. Even though the goals of the revisions are to streamline the process and open up more opportunities, some people are concerned that the lower standards making it easier will result in a number of people paying, not paying back the loan, which would place additional strain on taxpayers who ultimately are responsible for footing the tab on these unpaid loans. Now, the Small Business Administration, on the other hand, contends that that concern is not warranted because of the large funding and the commitment of $34 billion. They figure the revenue will offset the cost. The variable cost in this, there are adjustments in addition to the fees. The 50,000 or less lenders were allowed to charge a flat fee of 2,500 bucks, where in the past they may charge up to 3% on the loan. On the other hand, more competition among lenders could actually work out better for borrowers in the long run. What are some things that you can do today? Since you are now aware of these alterations, you may be curious about the actions you could take in the future. You should begin with performing some studies about the SBA loans for your company and consider looking at them. Because of the process, for many, found it difficult, you should set aside some time to determine whether or not this type of funding is suitable for your situation. There are tools available on the SBA site for 7A that can help you figure out whether you want to plunge into this or not. My final word when it comes to the SBA, the modifications that have recently been made, I would definitely take another look at the SBA if you had a tough time with them before because these processes and the new regulations help the SBA plow through these loans and help Help you get the money that you need access to that money now the options available to both established and enterprise and also newcomers pretty amazing even though you know people are worried about the downsides of this the objective is to make it simpler for people to get access to capital that they need if you've been thinking about applying for a small business loan now might be the time to look at the potential cash that you can get and consider both the immediate and long-term financial requirements of your company before deciding whether you're going to do this if you're going to go through the SBA process. Now, keep in mind that many different possibilities for funding your company, especially the 75 lenders that I have, the fintech lenders, also have a reach that could help you reach your goal quicker and faster as well. Now, maintaining an inform informed state of mind and always making judgments that are geared towards the expansion of your company. Any opinions or questions about the regulations for the SBA, I would direct you to go to the SBA website. Also, I wanted to talk to you about fix and flip loans. You can simply go to Capital Velocity Real Estate Loans here, and then you can go either fix and flip, and we've kept it simple. We're just straightforward. We have billions to lend. People who know, know about the website and go here. And you can do fix and flip, ground up if you're building something from ground up, uh, stabilized bridge if your property's already stabilized and you need something to get to regular lending. We do private lending here. Also multifamily if you need to bridge to financing. Let's say you got to remodel it or fix it. We'll help you with that. If you got a portfolio of rentals, be happy to give you 
an incredible rate for that. And if you have a single property that you're doing for business, these are all fix and flip business people. These are not residential for you to live in. This is all investment stuff that we do. Oh, and if you wanna to go to Epic 99, you're more than welcome to click on Epic 99 and go through the process here. My name's Andrew Cartwright. Take care, love you.